Goddesses Silks for doing aerial yoga or aerial dance. So in the hammock, you can do things like, this is called a V-up, and most people can get here. When I was younger, I played tennis quite a bit. I had a herniated disc in my back, so I was meant to have a surgery that I didn't have. Learned about the hands-on manipulation from a woman who was very good at deep tissue and trigger point and some other methodologies that she put together and pretty much fixed me without having to do surgery or any of the other Western medicine um, type quick fixes. And so that was quite a lesson. Then when I practiced law, having uh, some numbness tingling down my arm from stress and just from having the shoulders elevated, typing, whatever, um, that was a very nerve wracking experience to not know why this is happening in my body to try to figure that out. And yoga helped me to address that issue. The difference between doing it here and doing it on the floor is that gravity is helping you when you're hanging, whereas on the floor, if I'm gonna do that same king pigeon posture, now, instead of gravity pulling my ribs toward the ground, I've gotta lift the rib cage and open from the inside. And that is a lot harder to do. Yoga was just movement, breath, and, um, and opening up that area so that the muscles that were squeezing that innervation would release. It just seems very straightforward and simple, like the most obvious answer. Um, but unfortunately in our society, we usually go toward some kind of surgery or something much more invasive. So I, I like yoga. It's very, has a lot of, lot of applications. Now if we want to go a little deeper, a little higher, have a little more fun, you can start climbing up. It takes a little bit more strength. We also can start getting into aerial dance once you're able to climb. So I like doing a lot of inversions on the mat and the floor for my own personal practice. And obviously when I don't do that for pain management clients, the silks will give them the ability to hang. And likewise, it makes inversions easier for a more advanced practitioner. So say I want to do aerial back bend. I can flip over into this stretch here. And again, same thing, my ribs are hanging toward the ground. So I can be working on pulling into the back bend in a much easier, more released way. Yoga, to me, I can focus on something internal. And if I'm gonna sit and try to breathe or meditate, I'm gonna focus on the breath moving the inside of the rib cage or feeling that expansion. And then the exhale, feeling the rib cage depressor muscles, closing the ribs back in. So you have something that you can focus on while you're trying to breathe, relax. And that means you can't focus on, oh, I should be doing this, and I have a deadline for this case, and I have to be in court at this. And it just really is a different thing than trying to run on a treadmill, which will still allow your mind to should yourself. I should be doing this, I should be doing that. In the air, you can hang into your split, and you can keep as much tension in the arms as you want to keep you from splitting too deep. You can work on squaring the back hip forward, right? Whereas if I tried to do the same thing on the floor, again, less forgiving. If you can't get flat, you're way up here in the air. And now your muscles are holding you up there instead of letting you sink into it. To me, yoga is a vehicle for positive change and it's a peaceful place to be on your mat. The fun part is 